Ionic liquids. This is such a tiny part of the syllabus, I can't find it in either of the two textbooks I have. All right, there's an example of an ionic liquid. Hold on. And most liquids are polar or non-polar covalent compounds like water, ethanol, gasoline, and ammonia. Ionic liquids, they're unusual. Ionic bonds are really, really strong bonds. They need lots of energy to break them. So normally, ionic compounds are solid. But these are liquids at room temperature. And the reason is, is that the charges are distributed over large parts of the molecule. The negative, for example, is distributed all the way around the phosphorus hexafluoride. Now, what does that mean? Well, it means the melting points are very, very low. And the reason for that is that these molecules are really rather big. The positive one only has a plus one charge, but that's distributed widely over the molecule. Same for the negative one. So that means they have a low charge density, not very attracted to each other. And they have a very, very low vapor pressure. They barely turn into a gas from the liquid phase. So the IB syllabus says that they can be efficient solvents, electrolytes, which means they're changed by the passage of electricity into other chemicals, and they're used in green industrial processes. Well, that I understand. Because they have a very low vapor pressure, that means they're unlikely to turn to a gas and therefore be lost in any industrial process that you're doing.